Uh, Dr. Evans, will you just kind of give a general overview of what the paper is saying? What were they looking for? Results, conclusions, et cetera? Yeah, yeah. So I think it's important for people to get a 30,000 foot view before we dive in. And there are a lot of statistics with this paper. There's a lot going on, uh, but there's some really great takeaways. So we want to make sure that you come away with these. Um, so this paper um, was done to study, the primary objective was done to study Chiari malformations and herniations of the cerebellar tonsils through the frame and magnum. Um, that's also known as CTE, uh, not to be confused with uh, uh, the football CTE. Uh, they're different types of, of brain injury. Um, but uh, the point here is that they were the, the symptomatic um, problems people were experiencing, they were trying to study based on MRIs what they were seeing and how people responded in terms of symptoms. So when we do a cervical MRI, most of the time we lay people flat and the cervical MRI scans for 1200 neck pain patients were reviewed, um, but some of them were done upright. So 600 trauma cases, so people with trauma um, to the neck, uh, and 600 non-trauma, so they were the control, so they had no trauma to their neck. Half of the groups were scanned in a flat or recumbent position, and half were scanned in an upright uh, position. And there were two radiologists that reviewed the scans uh, for cerebellar tonsils. And so we'll go into you know, what cerebellar tonsils are and, and all the details there, but um, so basically, the outcomes and the results were that there was a total of 1,195 of 1,200 scans were read. So there were five that just, just uh, didn't get read for whatever reason. Um, and CTE, cerebellar tonsillar ectopia, was found in 5.7% and 5.3% in the recumbent and upright non-trauma groups versus 9.8% um, and 23.3% in the recumbent and upright trauma groups. So trauma versus, sorry, sorry non-trauma versus trauma, there was an increase, a spike in how many people had CTE. That is a huge finding because they've never shown that before in a paper ever. So that's, that's point one. Um, the results described in this present, uh, present investigation are first to demonstrate a neuroradiographic difference between neck pain patients with and without a recent his history of whiplash trauma. The results of prior research on uh, these problems uh, were confounded because of a failure to account for possible, uh, basically, neuropathology. So this was a big paper in that uh, they, they had this really interesting finding at the end between trauma and non-trauma and the upright um, and the recumbent scanning groups. Hi there, I'm Dr. Kevin Leach here with the Chiropractic Deep Dive Podcast, bringing you the most important research and information on conservative primary spine care, upper cervical chiropractic care, and traditional chiropractic care. I'm really trying to bring value with these, so I'd appreciate commenting on the videos, hitting the like button, and sharing them with as many people as you can. You never know who might need to see it. And consider subscribing to the channel so you can see all the other episodes and videos coming out. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate your support.